Blub blub everyone! Gary is king! And I'm Gary, hello. Gary the Gamerit here. Uh, we're playing a little bit of King of the Castle. I've heard about this game and I wanted to try it and now we're, we're trying it. Of course on Twitch with integration, so that's gonna be interesting. <laughs> and everyone is ready and eager, so let's get a new dynasty. Um, I mean, the monarch is, is Gary. I'm, I'm Gary. And the dynasty name is Gameridia. Because why not? Monarch uses he, him. King Gary of the Gameridia dynasty. Yeah, see, that sounds good. I could do Gary the Gamerid. Just gonna read Gary whenever it's in there, so that should be fine. Let's just begin and let's see how this how this goes. Uh, I'm playing on Twitch, thanks. Oh, and continue, select end, isn't that? Twitch extension shows players their region, wealth, scheme and more. Yeah, we have that activated. If you have overlay one uh, visible on, and not blocked, then um, you should be able to see this one. Hello, Assyria Havoc. Welcome. <laughs> and waves to you. Do we use channel points for this? No, it's just voting, I think, as far as I know. And thank you, Assyria, for already working on that. Um, choose three regions. I like the north. It's cold. It's nice. The Counts of the East. So vampires? Hmm... Counts of Ruth is aristocrats steeped in secrecy. Alle uh, allegations of forbidden rituals are unproven. Yeah, totally. To totally unproven. Uh, honor, etiquette, and the ninth god. Patricians are wealthy seafaring merchants noted for their cleverness. Still in negotiation in ornate mas masks. Do I like cleverness? Uh. The barons are brash rural lords famous for their belligerence and fondness of hunting. Uh, for hunting. Hmm. Yes, I have to boot boot up the PC. Uh, you should be able to do that on on your phone as well. Extension does not show a ton, just your current wealth and your goal. Yeah, that's that's about it. The goal will also be on the screen. Interesting. Okay. But I I still activate it because it's there, so I hope it will help. Um, but it's not a necessary thing. It just makes stuff easier, as far as I've I've read. I couldn't uh, set up anything in there as well. A person picks up barons, counts, and grandees, but do pick as you see fit. I mean, the counts sound interesting. Um, but I think for now, since this is a, a water-themed channel, we'll go with water. Water and cold. I like it. <laughs> but, you know, we can play more if we want to. Let's see. Uh, your nobles may now join via Twitch chat with join. Uh, exclamation mark join, of course. Followed by pronoun. Join she. Join he, join they, okay. Players can join mid-game and their wealth and region are saved in continued games. Oh, that's neat. So, if you behead me, you still keep your shit. That's cool. <laughs> that is nice. Now everyone who wants to join, type join. Or oh, exclamation mark join rather. Interesting, we have one of each. And it said you can join mid-game, so we don't need to wait. I mean, if you only have three guys, then we have three guys. And Terrible Hamster is the noble count of the East. Hmm. Uh-huh. <laughs> Hamster, we have to talk about some rituals, you know, that uh, that may be going on in, in your lands. Just just saying. Just whenever, whenever we find time. Right? Right. <laughs> Let's begin. Let's see what this go how this goes. Hey Kasbodan, hey Oisman Nobility. I hope you do. King of the Castle Primer Monarch winning, the path to victory. Acquire an heir, then complete your ambition to win. Your first reign will likely end in disaster. Yeah, I mean we have Twitch chat here, of course it will. They will definitely stab me in the back several times. Heavy is the head that wears the crown, indeed. Monarch schemes, regions. Keep an eye on the region schemes if they thank you for the follow, Assyria, Assyria Havoc. And welcome. Uh, keep an eye on the region schemes. If they pass all their stages, they'll win the game. Hmm, okay. And defiance. Be careful of the region's defiance stat. If it gets too high, the regions may rebel against you. Oh, that's gonna happen for sure. Nobles winning. 
to win past all three stages. That's for you guys. Do not worry about the schemes. They are harmless. Yeah, sh sh sure, they're harmless for sure. They're not gonna gonna take my head or anything. Um, each stage requires you to get stats to certain levels, which are affected in votes. Mm -hmm. Nobles voting. Voting is open. How you vote is up to you. For your region scheme to stop other schemes for the good of the kingdom. Yeah, I, I'd say for the good of the kingdom, guys. Just, just a hint there. Good of the kingdom above all, right? Right. Uh, Nobles Rebellions. If your defiance stat is high enough, you can rebel. This pauses your scheme and is risky, especially if you have low military. So, what I need to do is to take all your military from you. I mean, I mean, uh, I will definitely support you in whatever you do, because I'm your benevolent king, and I'll definitely not work against you, schemy little, little rats. <clears throat> uh, events. Each season you'll get three events to play. Click on one to get started. That's it. So, where are the events? This is, these are the realms, okay. The frozen realms, oh, that's nice. The east and the coast. I guess the other guys, uh, Gaza guys would be here and here? I don't know. I don't know, doesn't matter. Um, are these, ah, these are the events. Okay, let's start with the coronation, I guess? The Monarch. This is your Monarch, the streamer's character. They'll appear in most stories, but not all. Uh, kingdom stats. These are kingdom stats. If any of them are get to, getting to zero... At the start of a season, the game will end. Authority, treasury, and stability. Haha, <laughs> okay. <laughs> region stats. These are the region stats. Stats determine which events are generated. Uh-huh. Why don't I... Oh, these. Interesting. <laughs> the chiefs have zero faith. Interesting. And they are at one defiance. Okay. Defiance is... Defi uh, if defiance is higher than both authority and stability. So 10 at the moment. Um, a region can trigger a rebellion. This will pause their scheme and is risky if military is low. Do I have mil... I don't have military. Where's my military, guys? Ah, oh, shitty feudal system where my military is more than yours as well. Schemes mean absolutely nothing. We are just doing things. You should probably just forget about them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Sure. That's that's how we're how we're gonna roll. <laughs> oh god, this is gonna be terrible. Uh, you can scroll through the full list of nobles and their wealth here in the noble list. In this noble list. Aha. At the moment, we have three nobles. Whoever wants to join, um, put an exclamation mark join, and you join one of these three countries. Or yeah. Not countries, uh, realms inside my realm. Oh, feudal. Your Majesty, I've scheduled a coron coronation to take place in a week's time. Uh, why the hurry? To delay any longer would make the nobles restless. And when nobles get restless, they take their daggers and look for the nearest back. Yeah, couldn't they look for each other's back? I'm fine with that. Uh, what must I? What must I do? As is tradition, the council will decide what happens at your coronation. Oh, that's great. It's my coronation. This isn't an absolute monarchy. See, there's the problem, buddy. That's that's what needs to happen. Hey, Red Harvest, how are you doing? The only god the chiefs believe in is the blood of their enemies. Hmm, yeah, now I know why you like him. Uh, glory to, the, to King Gary, he who smells nice. Uh, okay. You smell regal. It's, it's regal by boss. <laughs> um, Your Majesty, everything has to be run past the council vote, even this. Oh, God. Uh, shall we call the nobles in? See, that is the moment in, C uh, in Crusader Kings where you abolish the council and make everything go smoothly instead of terrible. Because their opinions don't matter. Choices and stats. Certain choices will change stats. Some choices that do so will indicate this change here. Not all choices that change stats have these indicators and they do not show the region affected. Oh, that's great. These are the upcoming choices your nobles will vote on. Each of these may change stats in some way. Laws of the land. The monarch can change how a vote is run with a law. Limits to laws. You may use, uh, use one law per vote. Try using your veto on one option you dislike. Uh-huh. Voting. When the vote opens, nobles vote using the command exclamation mark vote. So for everyone here. 
We should hopefully have another one now, Red Harvest. Good. Um, followed by the choice letter. So, uh, exclamation mark, vote A or B or C or D or whatever. It's easy. Should get that really quickly. And you have a timer. The monarch may close the vote any time after all nobles have voted or the timer hits zero. Um... Okay, so these are the votes um, we have. What kind of coronation should be held for the new king? A lavish parade with jugglers and fountains of wine would be choice A. Uh, force the commoners to swear a blood oath. Mm, that sounds actually not bad. That's B. Throw the king into the river. That's not really... Doesn't really... Doesn't really ring in the right tones, you know? C. All the nobles must put on a vast banquet for the king. Uh, okay. Uh, Monarch marks the preferred voting option and this gets one extra vote. So this is what I can use. The Monarch can take a voting option off the table. Um... Yeah, I just just for just for the lols. This is vetoed. Done. Start the vote. Let's go. There is no throwing the king in the river. Where, where are we? We're not in barbarism land. Come on. So vote is open. You all can vote now. Uh, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. But the river is tradition. All good kings have a river coronation. No, it's not allowed. Vetoed. Maybe the timer is a little uh, harsh. I'm gonna look into that in a second. Maybe we can can make that a little bit longer, because we only have three votes. Just okay. Uh, oh, Red Harvest came in as well. Oh, I I can end the vote whenever I want after the after the timer went. Okay, so if I see something not going the way I want, I can just end the vote after the timer ran out, even if none, uh, even if some of you haven't voted to kind of get the result I want. Okay, so blood oath. See, I was I was kind of expecting that to happen. Small game thing, the voting stays open until you click continue. Yeah, okay, Azuria, thank you. Thank you for making that clear. Um, okay, that's that's fine then. Then the timer is not that important. I don't think I, I saw an option to change the timer anyway, so okay. That's fine. Well, uh, apparently we forced the commoners to swear blood oath. That's neat. Thank you. Is there a shortcut to for continue? Like C or something? That would be nice. Uh... Let's force them, because Assyria... Oh, that's... Ooh, now we can see you. Ooh, that's a nice, uh, nice noble lady. Terrible hamster. Oh, oh, the, the wise count. <laughs> the elderly wise count. And Red Harvest. Fancy. Fancy Red Harvest. <laughs> that's pretty cool, actually. And I love that you can, that you can hover over them and see them. Uh, that's cool. And we are, at the moment have four nobles. So if anyone wants to join, exclamation mark join. And you, oh, that's even even up there. Uh, with your pronouns, of course. Crowning achievement. Okay. Uh, the common citizens of the capital are lined up in a winding, a winding queue that loops along a dozen streets. One by one, they are brought before your throne, bowing and scraping as they should. This shows which stat has been changed and how much. Okay. After a bit of prodding from your watchman, each citizen slices their palm and smears their blood on your boots. I hope they have to lick it clean afterwards because, my god, these boots were expensive. Swearing their eternal loyalty, no amount of scrubbing will save your shoes after this. Mm, so, I need to get new shoes now. Interesting that's not gonna take stuff away from my treasury because I need new shoes. So authority is now one higher, but stability isn't didn't didn't drop, or maybe that will. Oh yes, it will. Okay, that just takes a bit. Blood for the blood god. Uh, never mind. Yeah, mm -hmm. indeed. I'm God King Gary. <laughs> hey Vashbe, how are you doing? Vashbe, if you want to be in here, exclamation mark join with your pronoun, and you can be one of the nobles that decides the fate of the realm. I don't know why, because I'm the one in here with my head on the line, but sure. The last monarch to hold a blood oath ceremony was King Timian the Mad. 
<laughs> who also once declared war on the color blue. I won't do that. I mean, blue is perfect. Uh, the peasants mutter darkly that another tyrant now sits the throne. Okay. Well, that's gonna be great. That's a good start for our for our first season as as the king in in the year 948. Uh, I guess the council introduction is in order now. So make sure everyone is in the council, and then let's go. Now that you're ki you're the king, and I have a neat crown. I mean, the other one before was just just ignored that. Um, Good so far, playing EVE Online, doing mining stuff, so right now standing 20 minutes still and mining asteroids. Awesome. <laughs> Perfect gameplay. Peak gameplay there, Waschbär. Now that you're the king, your first duty is to meet with the council nobles. You, uh, your nobles hailed from all across the kingdom, the wintry north, I like you guys already, the desolate east, and of course the wealthy coast. I mean, I like wealth, we need wealth. Uh, sure, let's start on the, on the top. Chiefs of the north. We only have one. Uh, the player who is bought King of the Castle, they can set their customizations, get access to special outfits, and appear more often in storylines. Uh -huh. The premium nobles! <laughs> money money plays, apparently. <laughs> uh, good luck in the days ahead, your highness. You'll need it dealing with us a lot. Uh, with us a lot. Okay, yeah, I fear so as well, Mr. Enders. Um, okay, so that's the first. Now, Counts of the East, um, Count Terrible Hamster, an honor to finally make your acquaintance, your majesty. May you escape the doom that befell your predecessor. Oh, God, you are my doom, right? You, you all. Oh, yeah, you are. Patricians of the Coast, how about you guys? Lady Patrician Assyria Havoc. Nice. Really nice avatar. A pleasure, your, your esteemed highness. I hope to see your kingdom prosper and grow wealthy under your reign. Yeah, somehow I think that's a lie. And with that, the introductions are done. Huh. Hey, maybe you will get dragged into a war and spin ships for hours in the hangar instead? <laughs> that's also nice, <laughs> Red Harvest. Uh, the Council Hall immediately... Oh, darn, I, I didn't read that correctly. I clicked already. You sigh and sit back. Is this what the Council is like? No wonder your father told you to avoid the throne at all costs. Was my father beheaded? Sorry that I didn't read that one before, but uh, if you're looking, uh, watching this, looking this, watching this on YouTube, anyway, you just uh, go back and, and read that. Path of victory, air and ambition. So I need to bang. That's interesting. The monarch must acquire an air and complete their ambition to win the game. A spouse is useful but not necessary. So mistresses, interesting. It's very CK then. Uh, wealth for all, but mostly the patricians. Yeah, I, I was getting that that little whiff there. Uh, I am at the start region, just began today and farmed a few million credits. Right now you get one million skill points for free, even older counts get them. That's not only right now, that's just for, for ages, Oshbear. Um, I think at least. I had that as well. So when I briefly looked into that game and decided it's not my thing. Um, okay, spouse not necessary. Can we make a child and then I'm good? No? Complete your ambition before a scheme or rebellion usurps you. Or before you lose all authority, treasury, stability. Yes, yeah, not gonna happen. Your majesty, the first few years of your reign are the most difficult. Yeah, and the rest as well, right? The rest will not get any better. You're new and unproven, the nobles of the council will scheme against you, hoping to kick you off the throne and put their own puppet claim in your place. Oh, great. You know, if we know about that, why not find their schemes and just behead them all? Or put them into prison forever and just seize their wealth and stuff. It's easy, right? Wealth, land, just seize it, put someone else in place who is actually on my side. That's what I would do on CK in CK3. Um, um, how can I stop them? To defeat their schemes, you must secure an heir. So, yeah, that's a weird way to defeat schemes. Having a lot of sex is... I mean, sounds great, but seems like a very weird way to defeat noble schemes. Uh, and prove that you are worthy by the crown by completing an ambition. Okay. My question is this. When you die, how do you hope the kingdom will remember you? Well, that's great for my first day. 
Um, military, stability, authority, farming, faith, or trade. So I'm deciding my goal here, Madam Spymaster. It may not be the most efficient, uh, effective method, but nobody has ever asked for other options. Weird, huh? Um, I don't know. What should we do? I, I have no idea about this game, so let's go for trade. Trade is always good. Although the patricians will probably not like that much. Take, uh, taking uh, or getting their trade taken away from them by me. Farming sounds nice. And the counts are... Even though the east is... What what did they say? Desolate or something? They are farming like crazy. It's kind of weird. I'm not the farming king. I'm the king of trade. A lofty goal indeed. I suggest over the next few years you focus on improving the kingdom's overall trade as much as possible. 3, 4, 7. Okay, patricians are obviously up there. Once you have an heir, and I have no idea how to strategically look at that, by the way. What this means, it means nothing to me right now, so we'll see. Once you have an heir, I will return to discuss how your ambition is progressing. Good luck, your majesty. How do I get an heir? Bring me a wench! Or something. Now that you've played all events, advance the game by clicking end season. Oh, that's, that's only gonna be good. Ha! Schemes. Each region will now vote for one of three randomly selected schemes. Schemes are made up of three stages. That is not much, with specific set requirements. Passing all three schemes, uh, scheme stages, place the region's claimant on the throne, winning the game. Oh, joy! Uh, everyone must eat, yes. True. But now everyone must pay. To me. All schemes are made of these... <laughs> Henny of the Enders Clan, charismatic northern hero, stands precariously on a longhouse crossbeam, spitting as they speak. Oh, could you please not? Are, are you, we really all barbar so barbaric? Chiefs of the North, we all know I should be on the throne. Not this imposter King Gary the Gamerit. Wow. Thanks. Thanks, Henny. Uh, how do we make that happen? Well, enjoy. I mean, there is not, you know, Enders can... Practically vote for them vote by themselves Since this is only the chiefs, right? And we only have one chief right now Enders What well, enjoy Enjoy choosing a B or C prophecy, which is authority Ragnarok, which is Ray's own military or hornblower, which is lower all faith That doesn't sound good actually You voted B, okay. Oh, that's bad. So you want to rebel against me, huh? Well, let's go then. Voting has been closed. Oops. I double clicked, unfortunately. I'm sorry. She's planned to make an alliance with the ice giants to take over the kingdom. With the ice giants. Okay. Um. First, they must not be weak, or the giants won't take their pr proposal seriously. To advance their scheme, the chief must raise their military to five or more in four seasons. Uh, oh crap. So I already lost, basically. It doesn't say buy five or more in four seasons, it says two, so I already lost. Cool. That's neat. And the Counts. Terrible hamster. Kaj Kaja or Kaya of the Ra Red Harvest Dynasty. Powerful Eastern chess master. Leans dedicatedly on a podium, whispering carefully. My fellow Counts, in ancient times, the East was its own proud kingdom. We can bring back those days of glory, but not while the false King Gary wears the crown. Well, thank you. Well, enjoy. Doppelganger, lowest defiance. Interesting? The lowest defiance. Intimidation, raise stability, or possession, lower own defiance. Weird. How will you lower the defiance even even more? I mean, it means like under five or something, and I actually have to raise it, which makes it bad, because then you could also rebel. That's, that's a mean goal. There are three stages, so you have time. Sure. But still... 
If the first stage is just a, an insta win, mm. he's the good one, yes. Uh, might be, but you're not allowed to vote. Spoiler alert, I'm, I'm pants at chess. Cool, that's good, I guess. Red Harvest goes for Doppelganger. Uh, we have more. Where's, where's Terrible... Oh, there it is. Okay. The hamster vote is in, so let's go. So what was this screen now? Okay, two nobles voted for this. Okay, Red Harvest and Terrible Hamster. Interesting. The Count's plan to swap the real king for a perfect doppelganger. First, they must gain the trust of the spy master. To advance their scheme, the Counts must be the region with the lowest defiance in two seasons. Well, which they all are right now. That's weird. Why? That is a weird thing, isn't it? Uh, Havrona of the Waschbär Mampfkuchen family. Oh, that's just great. Powerful coastal entrepreneur scribbles with a well-used quill on a hardwood desk, speaking calmly. Fellow patricians of the coast, my claim to the throne is far more legitimate than that of King Gary. Something must be done. Uh, you say that. Subterfuge, lower stability, conspiracy, lower treasury, and corruption, lower authority. Boy, I'm trying to be loyal. What is this treachery nonsense? <laughs> I've only seen the doppelganger scheme succeed once. Okay. Carry the doppelganger rid. <laughs> the doppelganger rid, might you mean. All hail Vashbear. Vote A. Okay. You vote A. Lower stability. Well, that is not fair. Because stability is already low. God damn it. Is there, is there a shortcut for this? No, I, I always have to click. That's very sad. Lower stability. So, which you already have won, I think. The patricians plan to replace the king's advisor with their own agents. First, they must prove they're doing a bad job. To advance their scheme, the patricians must lower stability to four or less in three seasons. Well, everyone succeeds already. Perfect. Just the greatest. Here you can review the region's schemes and their claimants. When you have an heir, they will appear on the right of this page. If your reign ends abruptly, the nobles will vote for the next monarch. Mm -hmm. This vote is between the two regions with the highest combined stats, and your heir if you have one. Well, that's great. Your majesty, these upstarts are saying they have a right to your throne. No doubt the nobles are already scheming to crown their region's preferred claimant. Oh, that's gonna be great. <laughs> Vote go to hell king? Uh, oh, no, go tell the king. Okay, go to hell king is what I read first. <laughs> the loyal terrible hamster there. Get with the program. We are twirling our mustaches and getting fitted for waistcoats over here. Great. Did you receive the monocle already? No, seriously, if I can't be loyal, then it does not seem fun for me. I mean, maybe you can. You can try to, you know, instead of lowering your defiance, you can try to raise it. You could maybe try to uh, get these guys to not have that much military or to raise our stability. You can vote. Your vote has ca can be, you know, detrimental to your own clan. That is possible. As far as I've heard. The monarch currently has no heir. Well, thank you. I know. Spy master, come with me in into the bedchamber. We need to we need to discuss a very private matter. Uh, continue to laws of the land. Adopt a law. Here you can adopt the new law that alters how votes voting is run. You'll be able to adopt more once a year at the end of winter. One law. You can only adopt one new law at a time and have a maximum of three laws to use. So, then I have to get something out, huh. By royal decree, we can't tweak the laws governing how the council votes. We can't pass more than three of these laws at once, and only one may be used per vote. That is stupid. Um, monarch's iron choice. The monarch can mark their preferred voting option. If chosen, they gain authority. Call for unity, plus stability if more than 50% of nobles vote for any one option. Ooh. Ooh, that sounds nice, to be honest. Monarch's golden choice. If nobles vote for the monarch's choice, they gain wealth. Interesting. So I can make you guys wealthier if you vote what I want. 
That can be useful as well, but you know, for the moment, I think this is something I want. Let's see how that goes. Oh god, I'm partnered with loyalists. I have a painting of King Gary in every important room in my castle. Oh god. Uh, the old guy. Now, we are in summer, and the honor guard is in. Let's see what they have to say. Now that... The Marshal. Now that you are king, you need personal protection. Why, I I could plunge my sword into your heart right now, could I not? You could definitely try, oh god! Uh, I'd like to see you try. Is it your, your imagination or does your Marshal stifle a right chuckle? In any case, she quickly hides it. Oh, it's, it's a woman, I'm sorry. I thought you were a guy. Uh, you need an honor guard. To keep you safe from such dangers, your majesty. Unfortunately, this is a political decision. Um, what are my options? Each region offers a selection of elite guards. Oh god, no, 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 no. I don't want one of these. I don't want one of these scheming bastards. Give me one of the other regions. The chiefs with their most famous warrior heroes. The counts with knights of the Order of the Drowned Rose. And the patricians offer their greatest gladiators, champions of the arena. Think carefully, your majesty, these guards' loyalties will be divided between you and the region. Of course, you could just hire foreign mercenaries. They'd be loyal to coin above all. Uh, what would it give you guys? Hmm. Tell me about the northern. Bearded oaves with axes and no manners. They'll get drunk and cause trouble in the palace. No discipline at all and I can't guarantee they won't run off. On some random quest, but they're honorable and in a fight unbeatable. Yeah, but they have too much military already So probably not gonna give them my throat on a platter Eastern Knights the order of the drowned rose are highly respectable. Ooh, I like her um, They don't understand palace etiquette, but it's been years since they fought an actual battle See that's a problem. They mostly write poems these days. Hmm Coastal gladiators, a gang of low-born crooks who've turned themselves into celebrities through their skill at chopping other people to bits. They're vain and selfish. Well, like mercenaries. Their skill in battle is undeniable, but can you trust them? I mean, more than, than the chiefs, for sure. Uh, mercenaries. A band of fearsome fighters from the Tatterlands called the Battle-Bitten Brethren. That sounds interesting. They can specialize in bodyguard work, but they're costly, and hiring foreigners will betray a lack of confidence in our kingdom's fighters. I mean, there's a reason for that. They all want my throat. You're gonna lurk. Hey, Mana, how are you doing? Hope you're feeling... Feeling what are you reading? Okay. Otherwise, if anyone wants to join, exclamation mark, join in your pronoun, and you're in here and can vote with us. I guess I've made my decision. The nothing that you said helped me in the very slightest. I await your verdict with bated breath, your majesty. Gives them defiance. This costs me treasury and lowers my authority. You're saying it gives... it might give them defiance, huh? Could also lower the defiance, but they're all at one, so that doesn't matter. Then I'm gonna take the Eastern Knights. I don't need an honor guard. Yeah, let's take the Eastern Knights. Ah, crap. Exactly the wrong outcome. Well, I think the Eastern ones will be happy now. <laughs> I should have taken the patrician dumbasses. <laughs> the knights arrive a few weeks later. They are all extremely pale and extremely polite. The commander introduces herself with a florid bow. Before reading out a poem she's written for the occasion. Well, great. Yeah, I'm gonna die so hard here. We are very trustworthy. Yeah, so I don't trust any of you lots. Any of you lots. Uh, we hope to see you on Slam Night, Your Majesty. <laughs> oh god. Border raids, I guess. Oh, let's see. God damn it. I'm the dumbest king in, in all of history. Your Majesty, those damn chiefs are up to their old tricks. Chief Enders has been leading his warriors on raids into my lands. Well, Red Harvest, what are you gonna do then? What did that change? I didn't really see. Nobody was hurt, but they shook down my peasants for pity coin and stole carriages straight from the fields. Ah, trade has gone down. Well, that's bad. That's not allowed. 
The North gets more trade. Okay, that's shuffling. That's fine. And well, Red Harvest, you lost wealth. I hope you're happy. How about you join me in murdering the chiefs? That's gonna be a good good time. How dare you accuse me of something like that? And it's my ex you'll answer to. Your greatness, I have no idea what Count Red Harvest is talking about. Maybe he's had too much wine, eh? Mm, what should be done about Chief Ender's supposed raids against Count Red Harvest? Order Chief Ender to compensate Count Red Harvest for the stolen goods. Send the spy masters to investigate these claims, or tell Count Red Harvest to bring proof of make when making accusations. Um... Yeah, I really think... I really think C is what we should go for, guys. Red Harvest didn't bring any... any... Um, evidence. So... We should definitely make him, you know, bring proof next time. <laughs> you keep the wine out of this? You skirt wearing twit? <laughs> wow. <laughs> it's already gonna get really heavy in here, apparently. <laughs> okay, apparently, Red Harvest, when you, when you, when you come before me, you should present evidence, not just words. <laughs> oh god, I hope this, this goes the way I want it to. Yes, bring proof when making accusations. Seventh, take us. You want proof? Is my word as a count not enough? No, because your defiance is too low. That's what I wanted. Ah, and their defiance goes down. Perfect. Ha! <laughs> Clearly not! The council has spoken... Jackanape? Jackanap? I have no idea what that word is. Go and cry into your silk pillows. <laughs> it too, hamster. <laughs> I already voted, yeah. <laughs> hamster voted. If you didn't see that, that's uh, a pity. That's a pity. This looks a little bit better now, so we need to get them a little bit more defiant. That's fine. Just, just a tad, you know? These all on one and this guy on two is fine. Defined enough, and we need to definitely murder this military, though. That's an important thing, everyone. Just saying. Uh, Your Majesty, terrible news from the East. The bees have vanished. Oh, that is actually a problem, yes. Um, we can have outdoor picnics in peace? No. All the bees? All of them, all across the East. We counts rely on the bees for honey tra for honey trade. Yeah, that is terrible. But worse, in the East, bees are bringing uh, of bring us of good fortune. We look after them and they look after us. It's a grim omen indeed if they deserted us. Our peasants are scared that we've offended the bees somehow. <laughs> we offended the bees, oh god. We must check the door. Maybe you danced wrong, that's how. <laughs> you actually made them, uh, offended them that way. I will send you a link to, okay, th terrible hamster, thank you. Not the bees! Yeah, exactly. How will I have tea with honey now? See? See, the patricians are even upset. That is... Oh, I have a cooldown on this. Okay, good to know. Bees come and go. Let nature take its course. Uh, that's gonna be bad for trade and farming, I think. Send messengers to investigate other regions. And ask the peasants if they noticed anything wrong. Um... So, I think I don't want this. Although, maybe I don't go for the veto. I would ask the peasants, to be honest. Um, if more than 50%. How many nobles do we have? No, oh, that's not looking good. I really don't want this to happen, so no. There's a veto. Either we send a mes uh, messengers to investigate, or we ask the peasants if they notice anything wrong. Really? They should investigate you, Assyria. Interesting. Hmm. Didn't, didn't think this would happen, to be honest. Red Harvest as well. I mean, Red Harvest, that makes sense. You see the fault at other regions. I see the fault always at the uh, peasants, the parents. 
But sure. Sure, it's definitely not the peasants, no. Ah, I know why. Hmm, yeah. Goddamn patricians. Um... Send messengers to investigate the regions. The Eastern beehives continue to languish, but the counts are grateful that the council takes the situation seriously. Yeah, and see, the weird thing is, I'm the one to suffer from everyone's vote. As if, as if it would have been my decree. It's kind of weird, isn't it? Uh, oh, God damn it, the East. Messengers ready themselves to traverse the kingdom and find the bees. Surely it shouldn't be too hard to find such huge a huge swarm. Will there be a follow-up? I hope so. So that was the, that was summer. Summer had no bees. That's gonna be great for farming, and definitely for trade as well. Awesome. Buildings. Noble can use their wealth to bid on any building in any region, each of which affects a stat. This is done through an auction where only the two most funded buildings are chosen. When the auction is open, nobles can fund with the following command. Exclamation mark fund AX, where X is the personal wealth. So, so you say exclamation mark fund building A with a thousand bucks or something. When you are ready, hit start auction to begin the auction. So guys, there's your wealth. Uh, we have six buildings, A to F. What do you want to... That is weird, that should actually increase stability, but sure. What do you want to vote on? Or to, to fund, actually. Two buildings are up for grabs, so enjoy. Funding has started, 60 seconds. You there, peasant, have you seen any bees? Huh? Are you hiding bees in your mouth, you loud? <laughs> yeah, exactly, Red Harvest. They're eating them, they don't have anything else to eat. Funding the trade! I like that. I, I like funding trade. Trade is always a good thing. Makes everyone better. And the deer park for less farming. Hmm. That doesn't sound good. We don't want the peasants to hunger. That only goes to... That only leads to revolts, guys. No, no revolts, please. Terrible hamster, all the wealth in, in the theater. Oh, God. No authority. That's mean. Would the fortress of the chief give them military? Oh god. Oh, luckily they don't need it, eh? Okay, so we have B and E that will be funded. And now Terrible Hamster has no more wealth. Well, that's sad for you. And we got the theater and the Grand Bazaar. So more trade and less authority. Oh, Christ. And we have Autumn now. Interesting. Theatres and bread? Oh god. I see. I see where you're going there. Um, finding a spouse. See, that sounds good. That would cost, cost me a lot of coin, I fear. So the patricians have more trade now. Weird. Okay. Interesting. Should I be able to see this, by the way? Maybe in later schemes I can't, because this seems like, you know, weird. Uh, finding a spouse, please. Give me, give me a woman. I, I need woman. I need baby. Give me baby. In the twisty passages of your... And then I will get a daughter and it, it's all over. Uh, in the twisty passages of your castle, you can avoid your advisors, the nobles, even the spy master. But there's one person you can't avoid. Your mother. Oh, God, no. That's not the woman I wanted to see. But thanks. Queen Mother, why haven't you found a spouse yet? It's been almost a year. My goodness, it's two months. It's six months. Come on. Uh, a bit busy. You better find the time. Don't worry. I'll take the, the liberty of finding eligible candidates. What is your preference? Men, women, or do you, do you not mind? That's weird that I can... That is... That... Mm, mm, okay, Fantasyland Middle Ages then. Because uh, that shouldn't know. That's not what the Queen Mother wants. But okay, sure. Uh, women. Excellent. I'll send out messengers to the most influential noble families, families in the kingdom. Let's see what they have to offer. Yeah, I shouldn't be able to marry a guy uh, in medieval times. That is beside the point of getting an heir. So, hmm. I may have a, you know, male mistress in that way. Sure, but... 
With sims like these who needs flamers, what? I must simp harder? Wow. You need an heir, so there's just one way to do so. Well, yeah, apparently with a man, which is kind of weird. But they said I don't need to have uh, a child, a, a normal child. I can probably adopt one or something, or maybe I really have a mistress. Spot of heresy. Heresy in the north, who would have thought? <laughs> Other than adoption. Yeah, I mean, adoption would probably be the thing. Your greatness, I'm stunned, outraged, and incensed. I've been summoned to trial by the Inquisition on some nonsense fabricated charge. Yeah, and does really? <laughs> They're saying a group of church missionaries went missing near my lands. The weather's cold around here. Anything could have happened to them. Yeah, or maybe you murdered them. Which is actually fine by me, but anything to take away your soldiers, please. No one dares defend me on their own. They're too scared of the High Inqu Inquisitor. The trial is set, but the Council must intervene, oh your greatness. Though she remains silent, the Council is keenly aware of the High Inquisitor's steely gaze from across the chamber. True missionaries are famously fragile. <laughs> are they, though? They're not fragile enough. Challenges. Some choices have uncertain outcomes called challenges. These can either be random or based on a stat. The percentage shows the chance of success. I would like to zoom in here. Stability, faith, or chance? Chance. Just the chance for a chance. Interesting. Pray for a good outcome. I like that one. <laughs> My nobles, vote. Just vote. Search for a witness to defend them. Help the Inquisi Inquisition gather evidence against him, or suggest he prays. You suggest you're praying for a good outcome yourself, Enders, even though you suggested this? You must burn the Inquisitor to check if she's a witch? No, that's not what we're gonna do. Just burn her because she's an Inquisitor. That's enough. Enough of a choice. Okay, he apparently has to pray for a good outcome. He himself voted to pray, so why are you coming towards us for this nonsense? Uh. But sure. And he needs to pray. And joy. Oh. <laughs> During the trial, Enders crumbles and confess confesses to being responsible for the death of the missionaries. Their bodies are found hidden in his cellars. Wow, Enders. Wow, really? I have the best odds by random chance. That's true. But apparently, you crumbled. <laughs> that is a woman. Uh, a terrible hamster. It's a she. It was, was mentioned as a she. She was mentioned as a she. Oh, no. Challenge failed. Interesting. Stability is now unstable. What? I just gained stability. Are you insane? That's bullshit. Defiance is now aloof. Uh, I don't care. And faith can't go lower. I mean, yeah, it was already at zero, so who cares? Unsmiling, the High Inquisitor gives the order. By the end of the day, Enders has been put to death. Well, Enders, so much for the random chance. <laughs> Chief Enders has died, and Enders the Second has joined the council. Well, I did believe that I would be the uh, that that I would not be the first to be murdered, but there we are. <laughs> Prayer help, the end of Enders. <laughs> I don't think that's how that should have worked, Terrible Hamster, but sure. Now meet Faramir? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Boromir is dead, now Faramir is the one. Hey guys, I'm Enders the second. <laughs> I mean, that, that could be an interesting goal, you know, get the, um, the biggest number after your name. That's interesting. Um, yeah, we'll go a little longer with this. It's already an hour. I'm gonna put a cut in here for YouTube, but uh, the stream is gonna go on for sure because we want to play some Age of Wonders later as well. Uh, but I'm gonna do a second part and uh, part, and let's see how that goes. Leave me a like if you liked the uh, the part. Sub my YouTube if you haven't. It really really helps. Thank you all, and uh, follow me on Twitch and come to Discord. And I see you all there next time. Bloop, bloop.